Hello all, this is the Reinhardt's Rundown. Today we're going to be talking about the concept of a prodrug. A prodrug is a medication that is biologically inactive or significantly less active in its original form. That is, until it enters the human body, where it gets converted to an active form by enzymes, proteins, and other chemical processes. Prodrugs can be incredibly useful in the therapeutic world. They're used for a variety of reasons, some of which include, number one, prodrugs can reduce the risk of drug abuse or misuse. Number two, prodrugs can help improve absorption or bioavailability. Number three, prodrugs can be used to extend dosing intervals of medications. Four, prodrugs may be used to reduce toxicities or side effects of medicines. And finally, prodrugs can help a medication get to the site of action. Let's look at the first example, how a prodrug can be useful in reducing the risk of drug abuse or misuse. We know that when opioids are abused, they are often crushed, dissolved, then maybe snorted or injected in an attempt to get the drug into the bloodstream immediately in amounts large enough to produce euphoria-like response. With prodrugs, there is a push to design what we call ADFs, or abuse deterrent formulations. Now, abuse deterrent formulations clearly will not prevent addiction, overdose, or even death, but they do make the abuse of products more difficult or less rewarding. Since a prodrug is not biologically activated until they are orally ingested, they're a little bit more resistant to being activated with crushing or dissolving, and injecting or snorting will not produce that desired effect. An example of this is Lystexamphetamine, or the brand name Vyvanse. Lystexamphetamine is a prodrug that is inactive until the lysine group can be cleaved off the amphetamine something that's done through a concept called first-pass metabolism after we ingest the drug orally. If the med is injected or snorted, it never gets activated and doesn't produce that euphoric rush. While prodrugs can include drug interactions or other challenges, they often have potential for reducing drug abuse or misuse. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown. Subscribe for our next prodrug update.